Hello Darklings and welcome to Duke 2 ASMR. This video is going to be about games. I have shown some five of my favorite PlayStation 2 games which I'm going to show you here today. And you voted for this video on Twitter. I had two other videos of vampire roleplay or a my clicking video or eating video and this one won uh, so it's kind of like in the middle of the night and I'm sorry I have two fans on and that's because it's so hot you cannot believe how hot it is in Sweden right now we haven't, haven't had rain for like uh, since April and it's kind of like the June the second or first today it's been it's awful everything is drying up and uh, yeah all right don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already the subscription button button is in down there and that little notification bell well without that out of the way I'm going to start and I'm going to start with Castlevania for the PlayStation 2 by Konami. And this is the first 3D Castlevania, if you don't count the two Nintendo 64 games, but I don't know if they were just fake 3D, but this is real 3D, I think. And you play as one of the Belmonts, I think. It was a while since I played this. Uh, yeah, Leon. Leon Belmont. And he has his trustworthy whip and he's going after Dracula in Dracula's castle, Castlevania. And you, you fight various monsters like Medusa heads and skeletons and zombies and werewolves and stuff like that. Yeah, this game is really cool. I like it. Uh, it can be a little bit fiddly to control, especially during like platforming sections, but it's nothing. It's, it's nothing uh, too bad. It, it plays a little bit like uh, Devil May Cry. You know, you whip and you be uh, fight and stuff. And this this came out. Uh, this came out 2000 and. Four. So it's not, it's, well it is old, I don't think it's old because I'm old, but uh, the cool thing with uh, PlayStation 2 games and games of the old era is that you often get cool books. This is like with a poster in it. I actually think I'm going to frame this and put it on my wall. So yeah, the RPG. Uh, sections from uh, the previous game in the series, uh, Symphony of the Night, is toned down a bit. I, if I remember correctly, it was a while since I played this, but uh, it is a great platformer action game adventure. And if you find it, don't hesitate to pick it up, it's great. Second game is a game I haven't finished. And it is Gradius 5. It's a bullet hell game. I shoot them up. And if you don't know what a bullet hell game is, I can explain. This is the screen. You're a little ship that goes from left to right, up and down. And there are 10,000 millions of enemies shooting at you at the same time. <laughs> and you are supposed to kill them. <laughs> uh, I, I've never been good at shoot em ups. Unfortunately. I don't have the patience to restart all over again. I don't get angry, but I get tired after a while. But the fun thing about Gradius 5 is that when you die and you're going to die, don't come and talk to me about uh, Dark Souls because this is hard. <laughs> And, uh, but when you die, it's just because you're clumsy, it doesn't because it's unfair, because if you learn how all the ships are moving and so on and so forth, you will beat it. Oh my god, I just have to check that the mic is connected. It was. <laughs> so, yeah. 
and it is graphically very very nice it is uh, it hasn't aged one bit it's explosions it is uh, you like fly inside of a creature and it's organic uh, and, oh wow you get a poster <laughs> with this one too and the controls are simple you you pick up power-ups and yeah I love this game I haven't finished it it's hard as hell but it's so fun to just con disconnect the brain for a little bit while next one is almost in the same genre it goes fast this is Star Wars Racer Revenge and it's of course based on uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace the pod racing sequence now I have both played and own Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, the first game. I have that on PC, but this is far superior. It has better graphics and more variety in the tracks. And it's, well, it's fun. It's fun and it goes so fast, the picture just blurs. <laughs> and the controls are excellent and it has a little bit of strategy in it because you can like if you get hit bump into something and you start to you know your engine start to smoke you can like uh, take power from the engine to repair it but when you do of course you get more vulnerable so uh, yeah and then if you like use your booster too much you can actually explode from overheating so uh, it's always like a balance of how you race which makes it have a little bit of strategy in it which I like so Star Wars Racer Revenge is there a poster in this one too no it's not but it comes with a book nowadays you just get a disc and kind of like a paper with some codes on it I like these discs you got in the old days yes next game is my favorite Final Fantasy game if you don't count part 7 which actually is my favorite but that's for another video with PlayStation 1 games this is what I consider the last Final Fantasy they still have the active time battles and uh, you still uh, it still plays like Final Fantasy unfortunately you don't have the world map anymore like you had in Final Fantasy up to 9 but uh, yeah and you play as the hero with the Meg Ryan hairdo Titus there he is with a big sword of course and he goes out with his merry companions to save the worlds of Spira from the horrible sea creature sin it's a very complicated story and I can't get into it right now but this game has some of the coolest characters in it like Lulu who is a black witch and black mage you see here or there and I can almost swear that Bioware took some inspirations from Lulu when they designed Morrigan in Dragon Age because they look basically the same we also have Oaron which is kind of like a grumpy old guy with a big sword I like this game and if I remember correctly it isn't overly hard if you level up uh, so it's not that frustrating uh, and I know my ex-girlfriend used to play this and I was sitting in the couch beside her looking watching her play and uh, it was just as fun to just watch her play I love this game and I recommend it for uh, fans of JRPG and uh, Final Fantasy fans the last in my opinion of the classic Final Fantasy games let's see here Castlevania, Gradius, Star Wars. We have one last game, and this I haven't finished either. Uh, but I have played like seven hours of it. This is an action RPG called Summoner 2. And uh, 
this game is great and I'm sorry I'm keep bumping into the camera uh, uh, tripod uh, you play as Maya who is a goddess reborn or at least uh, that's what she thinks <laughs> and she's a summoner and in various places in the games Maya comes across these stone circles and when she stands on it she absorbs the ruin of these stone circles which makes her get a summon but the fun thing is you don't summon like you do in Final Fantasy she becomes the summon which often is a big hulking monster that you take control of and smash through the enemies which is pretty cool you control three characters uh, one character but you can have two others in your party and you can by a script AI script decide how they are supposed to interact with the world and during fighting and it works actually fine only at one time one of my one of my companions was missing and was like stuck in a battle kind of like kilometer away <laughs> but I just had to switch with the press of the button to that character and then I could join the rest of the group I think you can put them like the AI script you can make them not interact with enemies which I'm going to do next time I play I've only had this game for like five days and I love it I had summoner one which was also for the PlayStation one and I love that too but it had an awkward ca camera angle so you all you couldn't really see what was in front of you and it, it you couldn't like fiddle with the camera a bit and that sucked and it had oh it had so long loading times this one doesn't it doesn't have any loading times to speak of the graphics is a little bit on the blocky side it is a uh, it's not brand new the game uh, but it, it's it's nice to look at uh, you pick up uh, weapons and you pick up you know armor and potions and stuff like that uh, like I said, I might have played this five or seven hours, and so far I love it. I don't think it can be, well, uh, you know, it can go drastically down. I think it will keep up this this uh, quality. It's THQ who has it, uh, released it, and of course it comes with a book like all good old games and on the back we have a game that I had on Xbox the first Xbox Red Faction 2 which I love and yeah and the fighting it's not menu based it is an action RPG and um, the fun thing about this game is that it is uh, it's pretty pretty tough it's not like frustratingly tough, but you have to have some kind of strategy when you when you play it. Here we have some of the characters. There's Maya up there, and uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I would compare the, the fighting fighting system a little bit to Dark Souls, that you parry, shop, parry, shop, move around, fight, trying to find an angle. And just keep out of harm's way because those enemies can really really get up on you in numbers they don't stand at the side you know just watching one after one get slaughtered they attack everyone <laughs> simultaneously and it's a bit challenging but you know games are supposed to be a little bit challenging otherwise we could just watch a movie right so yeah i recommend summoner 2 uh, I, ha I have a lot of PlayStation 2 games, other games I love as much as these, but I thought 5, I can take 5, and yeah, uh, this will be for the, for the thumb, <laughs> and I have snoozy and I don't have black teeth, or maybe, well, alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to go back to bed and sweat and hopefully I can uh, go to sleep because it's so hot I don't know what to do I can't hardly breathe <laughs> I have both windows open both fans on 
And it doesn't help. I was out with the dogs just a couple of minutes before I start, started shooting. And it's like walking inside. And it's just the 1st of June. Something is really screwed up with the weather, but hey, I'm not complaining, at least it's not snow. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. Remember, there can't be any light without darkness. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.